Hi everyone, Michael Cavaccini here. Today we're going to look at James Bond, The Secret World of 007. I believe this is the second edition of the book. This is the first, and then this is the one that comes out after this one. So this one includes Die Another Day and Casino Royale. That one includes Up To World Is Not Enough. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Actually, before we do that, let's flip it over so you can see what it's all about. And it's from DK. So let it open it up. It's a table of contents. So this is 160 pages. The other one was 144. That one was 144. So it's slightly longer. Features the same forward by M, written in character. Daniel Craig is here now before it was Pierce Brosnan. However, these pages are still Pierce Brosnan, which is interesting considering they took the time to change the other one to Daniel Craig, I guess switching out this layout would have required more work. So these are the same as the previous book, the previous version of this book. Yeah, so far all of this is the same as the last edition. However, I'm sure the newer movies that are included in here are obviously that additional content you're getting. It's similar to when um, DK or other companies do like an encyclopedia of, you know, WWE or Halo or whatever. If they do more than one version, a lot of times they're, you know, just updating. Sometimes it'll change the graphical layout, but sometimes it won't. And as I mentioned in the other video, some of these movies get, um, most get four pages, some get six pages of content. So it's very much a visually, like a graphically focused book, but there is text throughout, as you can see, about different, um, elements of the movies for you to read about. So it's really not, I mean, you could read it cover to cover, or you could just crack this thing open at any, any point in the book, really, and just read a factoid about one of these great movies. And there's a few pages that are like this, too. I guess just to switch things up. That's pretty cool, right? The House of Fun from Man with the Golden Gun. That's a pretty cool view to see. Spy Who Loved Me. This might be my fa favorite Bond theme. Well, Goldfinger, or Golden Eye is actually probably my favorite, but uh, nobody does it better but Carly Simon. Wow, great song. This is Marvin Hamlish did a killer arrangement. Such a good song. It's not that it's a great Bond song, it's just a fantastic song, period. Jaws. One of the better villains. One of the most memorable villains. For your eyes only. <laughs>
do to a kill. So this is the the Duran Duran song from this movie is the only number one Bond theme song, like the number one on the charts, to my knowledge, which is pretty interesting considering there's so many great songs, right? And let's take a look at this here. The Dalton movies are underappreciated. He's definitely a great Bond. And actually, if you look at the commercial performance of all of these movies, they got progressively more successful as they went on. You know, Sean Connery did good. Roger Moore blew him away when it came to financial performance. Then Timothy Dalton actually performed really well, too. All the movies profited, like, significantly. And then Pierce Brosnan blew them away. And then Daniel Craig, of course, went on to have the billion-dollar Skyfall. Um, it's just amazing, right? Like, this series has never lost its luster, pretty much. It just continues to be a juggernaut. Despite the fact that we all talk about, you know, uh, different changes in the history or trajectory of Bond, it has always been successful. The stealth ship that was pretty cool the world is not enough so in the last book this is where it ended was if the world is not enough i think it was this page no this is in there too okay so now you have die another day Hovercraft shit. It's weird. Why doesn't it just say die another day? <laughs> Don't know. Oh no, sorry. That was. I'm mixing stuff up. This is die another day. Alright, so for die another day, you're getting these new pages here. John Clayce's Q. The Ice Palace. I actually enjoyed that another day. I know some people trash it, but I thought it was pretty fun. You can't go into these movies and expect them, take them too seriously. Then Casino Royale. It's Casino Royale. I'm pretty sure this is it. They do not do much in this book for this, but you gotta remember, when they put these books together, they usually put it together before the movie's actually out, so they don't have a whole lot to work with. So that's why it's just two pages. And then these pages are the same as the previous book. It's just a cast for each of the movies. Except obviously of the cast for Die Another Day and Casino Royale. Vesper, she's probably my favorite Bond girl. And there you have it. It's 160 pages compared to the 144 of the previous one. And I think this is what Die Another Day on the inside cover. And there you go. So James Bond, The Secret World of 007. And if available, I will include a link down below in the descriptions to if you want to pick up this book. So I'll include a link, so check that out. Make sure to like this video, visit me, or subscribe to my channel, visit me, michaelcappuccini.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this inside look at the second edition of James Bond, The Secret World of 007. Have a great one. Bye.